welcome to MacWizKid videos. Today I'm very excited to start off my new channel here with MacWizKid with Snow Leopard. I ordered it online the other day and I got it early this morning right with the release August 28th. I got, got it shipped over and I'm very excited. Here's the box. It's not opened yet. I'm going to open it and install it on my new MacBook that I've got already. I have the previous version of uh, Leopard on it and um, here's the new version. I'm very excited to try it out. Now remember, this will not work on the older power PCs, the, the older power power books and, and uh, iMacs and so forth, right? So if you've got uh, the older versions, unfortunately the Snow Leopard won't work, uh, won't install on that. And I'll, I'll show you what happens if you do try to install it on, a, uh, on an older um, Mac. But uh, basically, this new version is supposed to refine what is already in Leopard and um, show that there's performance increase, it's more slick, few new enhancements. We're going to go through that in detail in my next videos. This video is really to show you uh, and introduce my, my new series on Mac WizKid here and, um, and Snow Leopard. So inside this uh, little slim package that we got uh, from Apple, it comes with a DVD, obviously, the installation DVD that we're just going to pop in and, uh, and install in a second. And uh, along with that, you're going to get some stickers, uh, the Apple stickers, that's pretty standard. You're going to get the um, the quick introduction manual and um, and also some support information. So those those are the three basic things that come along with the DVD in that little box. Very good price, I might, I might add, you know, about um, 25 to $30, depending on where you are and where you buy it from. And um, it came pretty quick in the mail, too, I must say, right on time. So... Um, if you uh, are keen on installing this on uh, a power PC, don't try it. Okay, it's not going to work. Like I said, only on Intel-based Macs. If you do try to install it on a uh, power um, PC, PowerBook, for example, and you double-click on the installation here, then you're going to get this pop-up message. Okay, so I'm just going to save you the trouble. This is what you're going to get. Okay, you can install it. You're going to get the standard pop-up message from uh, from Apple when you try to install it, and it tells you the reason why. Okay, you need an Intel-based Mac. Okay, so don't even bother. So um, now that uh, that we have this uh, out of the way, let's go ahead and install it on a real new Intel-based Mac. So I've got here, as you can see, my um, new MacBook, 2.4 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, lots of space on there, and I'm going to go ahead and install this on um, on my drive. And follow the instructions just like with previous uh, installations that I've done uh, Tiger the old version of Leopard everything uh, ran smoothly and this is no different right just follow the screen instructions uh, select the drive put in your password when it prompts you um, to put in your um, your admin password there and uh, and let it go right let it install it takes about 45 minutes roughly uh, depending on how fast your um, your Mac is obviously and um, I think it took less than 45 actually I think it was more like 35 to 40 minutes but um, it rebooted once and then once it was done there you go I went back just verified yep Mac uh, OS 10.6 done and um, now it's just a matter of going through everything slowly and I'm gonna show you all the differences in my next videos right so for example QuickTime Player 10 and all these other new things that uh, they've added we'll review those shortly and my next videos okay and how to tweak them how to use them some tutorials tips all of that coming up on MacWizKid. and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching